have a family out there that cares for him. You know, turn yourself in. Don't make this worse than what it is. Oh, just give up and, and make this, uh, make our community get back to, to what it is. The latest message from law enforcement as the hunt for the suspect who started shooting people on a busy Kentucky interstate has hit the 48 hour mark now. Welcome to Wave News at 6. I'm John Ball. And I'm Myra Ansari. There's now officially a warrant out for his arrest, charging him with attempted murder and assault. The suspect, Joseph Couch, is being described as armed and dangerous. He's wanted in connection with the shooting on I-75 a few miles north of London, Kentucky. Five people were shot and left seriously injured. An arrest warrant charges Couch with five counts of attempted murder and five counts of first degree assault. Since the investigation began, officials say several pieces of evidence have now been uncovered. It began with Couch's vehicle found near the scene. Also nearby, an AR-15 believed to have been used in the shooting, which Couch purchased just hours before the shots rang out. And now, new text messages revealed by investigators between Couch and a woman show the suspect saying, quote, I'm going to kill a lot of people. Well, try at least. And with several pieces of evidence, yet no arrest, those in the surrounding areas, they're fearing for their own safety. Tonight, we find Wave News reporter David Manningly on the ground in Laurel County with the very latest on the search efforts. Meyer KSP is in charge of the search for Couch, and based on what we heard from them today, it doesn't sound like they're much closer to finding him right now than they were 48 hours ago. In fact, they found no evidence today regarding his whereabouts or his well being. This is largely due to the rugged terrain and the dense vegetation and foliage that we find in the Daniel Boone National Forest. A lot of resources, however, is going into this. There is a reward offered for for Couch's capture and there's a lot of activity on the ground and in the air. KSP hopes Couch can be found soon. That those are their words that hope that he can be found. We're told that this is the ideal scenario here is that he walks out of the woods and gives himself up. This manhunt has become a, a methodical effort uh, similar like a hide and seek. We're focused on protecting the residents and their homes and the businesses during this critical time. Our goal is to apply steady pressure and wearing Mr. Couch down. Uh, the longer he is in the woods, you know, late last night it had got pretty chilly and today it's got kind of humid and hot. That KSP spokesman you were just listening to there described the people in the area as stressed out to the max because of this. The public is being asked to remain on guard and to watch out for each other. Laurel County schools here in this county were closed today as one of those precautions. We just found out a few minutes ago they will be closed again tomorrow. Reporting live in London, David Mattingly, Wave News. Thanks, David.